I call on Deputy Ellis, who has two minutes. Minister Sinn Féin has always supported Metro North. It will benefit the environment as it will remove thousands of cars on a weekly basis from our streets and carry 50 million plus passengers per year. There are major benefits in terms of employment, not just during the construction phase, providing some 4,000 jobs, but afterwards by creating new jobs and businesses all along the areas served by Metro North. It will also help in regenerating areas and provide badly needed access to Dublin Airport. However, we must be also conscious of the impact long-term construction work will have on our communities. Some real concerns, for example, are plans to requisition the grounds and lands associated with Nafina GAA Club and Home Farm Football Club on Moby Road as a staging post for the underground boring machinery and other works associated with the project. This has the potential of causing untold and irrecoverable damage to both clubs. I would like at this time to offer my condolences to the family and the FINA on the passing of their club secretary, Deirdre Lam, or Jess J. Gorel Annam. This plan will also impact greatly on residents and on three local schools, School Katrina, School Moby and Whitehall College, affecting on a daily basis hundreds of children and their families. I have a suggestion that I believe will have the least impact on the community and surrounding areas. There are virgin lands just north of Ballymun where this heavy boring equipment could be stored and utilised and works could be commenced from there. Minister, could you give this suggestion some consideration as a more viable and sensible option <laughs> in place of the existing proposals which have huge implications on our communities? And um, can I also extend our condolences to the family, friends and indeed the club colleagues of Rooney of Nafina GAA Club, uh, Deirdre Lamb, who passed away on the 14th uh, of April. I know she is uh, greatly uh, missed and lamented by all who, who knew her. Uh, Minister, as Deputy Ellis has said, we acknowledge that Metro North is a vitally important piece of transport infrastructure. And we also accept that it's important that uh, work begins on its construction as soon as possible. Uh, I set those two points out very clearly because I don't want us to have a diversionary or a false debate. This is not a matter of opposition to the Metro. However, the current proposals would see Nafiana GAA Club, which has uh, 3,000 members, moved off their grounds for up to seven years. That would be catastrophic for the club. Uh, it cannot, in my view, be allowed to happen, and an alternative must uh, be found. Uh, Nafina, I should say, is not the only uh, local GA, uh, is not only a GA facility, but it's used very widely by local schools, by the community, uh, as is normal with uh, clubs of, of common new class scale. So the current proposals make uh, no, no sense. Uh, it, 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 it provides a, an impossible situation for Nafina GAA Club. Um, they will be in Leinster House next Wednesday to address the Transport Committee and to put forward their case. And I want you to know they're not in here to have a row. They're not in here to fall out with people. They're looking for a resolution and a resolution that protects this very important community facility. So, Minister, what other locations were considered? Will you consider the proposal put forward by my colleague, uh, Deputy uh, Ellis? And, and just to say, as has already been said, uh, I'm focusing on the FIANA GAA Club, but, but equally I could cite Skull Katrina, Skull Movi, Whitehall College, all of these public uh, facilities oh that are beside themselves with worry on this matter. The Minister's four minutes. Um, thank you, Giancola. And I'd like to thank uh, both the deputies for raising this very important issue and acknowledge uh, the support of Sinn Féin for the Metro project. And I think that shouldn't be uh, forgotten in, in this uh, event which is happening, to which, they're, they're, which they've addressed today. Um, I'd also like to join with them in 
expressing sympathy to the family of Deirdre Lamb, uh, who passed away. The Metrolink project is the development of a north-south urban railway service that will run between the Swords and Sandyford, connecting key destinations along the 26-kilometre route. There will be 25 stations in total, 15 of them brand new. A large portion of the route will be underground, including where it passes under the important city centre area and Dublin Airport. The underground section will terminate close to the Charlemont stop on the Lewis Green Line South City area, where the Metro will connect to and run southwards on the existing Lewis Green Line. The Lewis Green Line will be upgraded to Metro Standard as part of that project. I'd like to address directly the issue of Nafina because I acknowledge that the uh, controversy has arisen because of the potential difficulties which are being uh, which, which are being felt by this club and by Home Farm and indeed the fears and apprehension of three schools uh, involved in this. And I'd also like to say to Deputy Ellis that to thank him for the suggestion which he's made and suggest that you know there's a consultation process going on now and that this particular suggestion should be made probably to, to them in the first place. Because there's a, there's a temptation, and a, I, 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 it's, a, it's a very real one, and it's to, to make suggestions to me when really uh, the people to make it to are the NTA. But you get the opportunity to do that in this House, and undoubtedly the, uh, the NTA will be aware of what you say in this House as well as your submission. I believe there are many benefits the Metrolink project can bring. I'm confident that the NTA and TIA, through the cons consultation process that they have underway, will find a way of delivering the Metrolink project of maintaining good routes that interchange with other public transport while doing it in such a way that respects the social, community and sporting life of our city. In the case of Nafina, I understand the NTA have committed to work collaboratively with Nafina to address the concerns that they have identified and develop mitigating proposals for discussion within three to four weeks of the consultation deadline. And I think that that particular attitude and obviously a uh, willingness to talk and consult and if there's a better solution to find one will apply to all the other parties concerned as well. This particular uh, solution is not, as you know now, is not set in stone and I think it would be wrong if it were. It's predicted that capacity for 15,000 passengers per direction per hour during the busiest peak times will be required along, this, on, uh, along the corridor which I've addressed. Metrolink will have the capacity for 30 trains per hour in each direction, so it will greatly enhance the public transport offering in Dublin. The creation of about 4,000 jobs during construction is also envisaged, which is a sig significant for the economy in the region. The NTA in, con in conjunction with TII, recently launched the public consultation uh, with, to which I've referred on the emerging preferred route. And it's, I think, appropriate that we should continue to address it as that at the moment. It's the proposal which has been identified as the likely optimal scheme from a technical design perspective without the benefit of public consultation and input. You'll have a further two minutes, Minister. Okay, can I just finish one sentence, please? Yeah. It is not a finalised and selected scheme. The final layout will only be determined after consideration and evaluation of the issues raised during the consultation process, and that will include the representations which have been made by Deputy MacDonald. Deputy and by Ellis Deputy is one minute. Thank you, Minister. Minister, over the years we had huge amounts of consultation and before 2011 when this uh, project ended up getting scrapped and put on the long finger, we had um, consultations which were very contentious, but this is the most contentious I've seen out of them all, the plans to touch Nafina's lands. I think it's, it doesn't make sense. And at the consultation the other day when I met with the NTA and the, and the, the others, um, I raised these concerns straight away that this was going to be a non-runner in terms of looking at these grounds. Now previously we had Albert College identified and we had serious contentious issues in regards to that and 
Now, I'm making a suggestion about the lands north of Ballymoon, which are virgin lands and can be utilised, and there's no reason why boring machines can't be used along those lands. And I know the consultation is there at the moment, and we all make submissions. I'll be making a submission myself, um, but I think it's you know, important that it's taken on board. I hate the word that this is the optimal uh, uh, decision, you know, that uh, we're looking at this. It sort of sends out the wrong message that this is the way oh we're going. God. And what I'm saying is let's hope that the NTA will, will be sensible in terms that of our approach in this consultation. As one okay. So thank you for that response, uh, Minister. And uh, I, I take your point that this is not the, the finalised or decided uh, scheme and that there is a process uh, underway. However, um, it is clear that this is, as you have described, considered to be the likely optimal uh, scheme from a technical point of view. So here's the concern. Um, the concern is that that technical op optimal position will supersede and take preference over any of the considerations that you referred to around the social and community life of the city. That's the deep concern of the, the club, of the schools, of the clubs I should say because you, you quite correctly um, referenced Home Farm as well. So can we have a reassurance from you, Minister, that the consultation process isn't simply a case of going through the motions. I've no doubt that all of the stakeholders will work collaboratively with you, but they need to know that the social and community dimension will have equal, in fact, I would argue, greater billing than a simple technical view of this route. Uh, all right, two minutes. Yeah, I, think um, I think I can give you the assurance that uh, the NTA will consider with uh, equal, equal enthusiasm, the obvious social consequences of what's going on. The, the words were chosen fairly carefully that were referred to it being the optimal technical. It was leaving out, leaving out those words, I suspect, deliberately, right? But because, because they would also be concluded, but it's optimal in the technical sense. And that's, that's a very crude way of judging something like this. Uh, my guess is that uh, and I will convey your wishes to the NTA that the social consequences of this will be taken and must be taken into account. And if, if I, I convey that, that that's, those are your, your wishes, and I think that they should do that as well. I'm not going to interfere in any of this process. There is a tendency to ask me to draw every route of every road and every, every, every line that's going. I, I'm not going to do that, but I am conscious of the sensitivities of the community there, uh, which must be balanced against the obvious need to go ahead with this very, very necessary project. But you, the, uh, the deputies can be assured that this, what they've said will be taken on board, that there is a serious consultation process going on, and that they will work collaboratively with Nefina. Okay. Thank you.